Hey guys, Chris Miffer here, welcome today to a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to control your Android phone from your Windows PC. So that's pretty cool because you can, you know, like put your phone somewhere else and uh, wirelessly actually uh, control it through Wi-Fi or 3G, so that's pretty cool. Um, so to do that, all you, all you need to do is go over to this website, Mobazin, I'll put this in the link below, and just go over and hit download Mobazin PC. Um, in fact, you can actually do it on the browser, but I do recommend the desktop because it's more stable and faster. Uh, and much faster. So just download the PC version. Um, you get a file that looks something like this. Moves in, and so you know, just install it. I'm just gonna go ahead and install it right now. All right, accept terms and conditions. Go over and install. Now, once Mobazin is installed, as you can see, it's installing over here, and more installation, and more installation. Once installed, just hit finish, and you're done on the computer. Now we'll head over to our phone and I'll show you guys what to do over there. Alright, so once you're on your phone, uh, what you need to do is go over to Play Store and search Mobazin on Play Store. So it's just M-O-B-I-Z-E-N. So search Mobazin and if you use a Samsung device, then obviously download Mobazin for Samsung. Otherwise, just download Mobazin, Mobazin Mirroring. So once it's downloaded, just go over to the app on your phone and open it up. And so now you see Mobazin open up and you say blah blah blah, just click start. And then now it asks you to choose an email for your account. So they just put some of the emails that you commonly use on your Android phone. Uh, for me, I use my Gmail the most. And so you have to create a password for it. Um, I'll be typing this off screen. All right, so once you have a password created, um, it will bring you to the, the tutorial. And so in this the tutorial, it will teach you guys how to actually um, connect using USB, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Um, I'll show this in a separate video when I show you guys how to record your phone using this. But for now, what we want is wireless connection. So now you see that this has been started. So now we'll go back to our computer and see what happens from there. So now back on our computer, just start up the Mobazine app, which I have uh, the, you know, the program on your computer, and then hit Android Remote Control. Now click do not display again because we've already done this. Click next and click OK. And now type in your the email that you used early on in the when you registered for the app and the password. And hit connect. And it'll say connecting. So now it attempt to connect by Wi-Fi. Obviously both your PC and your um, mobile phone must be connected to Wi-Fi. And once it's done connecting it will show a two-step verification code. On your phone itself, just hit the button that says two-step verification and type in the code. So 727-303 and hit connect. Once it's connected, get ready for it. It will start to connect and we have Mobizen mirroring done. And this is my phone. Let's go back to the home screen and so you guys can see that this is actually uh, what you guys saw on my home screen earlier on. So my calendar over here and yeah. So what, what works here? Well, basically almost every, everything works, um, including the keyboard. So let's just go to search, okay, Google. And let me stop that. And let's go over to the search um, bar. And I'm using my computer keyboard right now. And as I'm typing on my computer keyboard, it's appearing there. So yeah, basically you can use um, all the devices of your computer, like your keyboard, etc., etc. et cetera. Et cetera. Um, on your phone itself and you can actually control your phone wirelessly. So right now my phone is obviously in front of my face because I just showed the tutorial. Um, but my phone can be basically be in, in another country and just connect it to Wi-Fi and I can actually control it from my PC. So that's pretty cool. Alright guys, uh, if any questions just put in the comment section below. I'll try guys I'll try to help you guys as best as I can. But that's basically all for today. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.